morning students welcome to the session today as usual you know that we are discussing the, the english uh, subject for uh, nine standard today for nine standard english i am going to start the first poem the first poem the cross is really like to me written by kishwar nahe so uh, listen carefully children this is the first uh, uh, period of this uh, uh, poem before we going to discuss regarding this poem let us uh, know about the poet that is uh, ishwar nahe so i think you don't have a textbook uh try to uh, understand and listen carefully my words so note about the poet kishwar nahe was born in bulandshar Uttar Pradesh in 1940. So, Kishwar Nahe was born in Bulandshahar. Born in Bulandshahar. Bulandshahar, UP. That is the Uttar Pradesh in 1940. In a 1940 she is uh, one of the best known women poets of uh, pakistan basically she belongs to the poetess belongs to pakistan so one of the best known women poets in pakistan she has written she has written a collection of uh, traditional ghazals she has written a collection of aita uh, children she has written she has written a collection of a collection of traditional ghazals traditional ghazals traditional ghazals as you know that as she was belongs to uh, pakistan where pakistan most of the muslims are away to live so where in muslim uh, religion ghazals are very important and it takes a major role in exchanging the feelings and thoughts and the subjects she has also written for the children and for the daily newspaper jan she also written she has also written for the children so also she has written for children and also written in newspaper just i am writing the headlines listen carefully she has written for children and also for the daily newspaper daily newspaper that is the, the newspaper is the jan j a n jan she has written in a the daily newspaper journal her poetry has been translated into english and spanish so her poems are translated her poems are translated translated into english and spanish english and spanish english and spanish okay her well known poem her well known poem we sinful women i don't uh, very well known poem of her so we sinful women sinful women is a well known poem well known poem of a her so was translated and edited in a ruksana hamar so this a uh, poem that is a uh, Kishore Nahid's well-known poem 
this sinful woman is translated and also edited by Ruksana Ahmad and published in London by the Women Press in 1991. So it was translated and published in London. That is the the Women's Press. In the Women's Press, 1991. The Women's Press. The Women's Press. In the Women's Press. That is a uh, London. In London, London it was uh, published in 1991. Listen carefully and listen carefully. So this a uh, uh, well-known poem of Kishwanahe. That is a uh, we sinful woman was translated and published in uh, London. The woman, woman's press in 1991. She held the position. She held the position of a director general of the Pakistan National Council of Arts before her retirement. So she also became the director general. She also became the director general of a for the council. She became a she also became the director general. Director general director general of the Pakistan of the Pakistan National Council. Pakistan National Council. Of arts, Council of Arts. She has founded an organization named. She also founded an organization. She also she founded. She founded an organization. An organization, an organization that is uh, to help uh, the woman without independent income. So here yeah, she has founded an organization named organization named Hawa H A W W F. That is it is mentioned as EU. So the goal of this uh, foundation, that is uh, the organization, is to help women without independent income to become financially independent through cottage industries and selling handicrafts. It's clear that she is also in the interest of uh, helping the poor people and also making the women very strong both uh, in a financial matter also. So the organization which she found uh, the goal of this uh, organization is to help women without uh, independent income to become financially independent through cottage industries and selling handicrafts. So this is about the, the poet. This is about the poet as a, it is a Kishwar Nahi. So let us uh, discuss uh, and uh, see the warm up activity as I said uh, in the previous uh, lesson. That is a uh, nine standard. All lessons and poems uh, are having the warm up activity or pre reading activity which will be helpful in understanding the concept of the lesson or concept of the poem so here also let us discuss regarding this warm up activity so it is given think of a few things 
which can be compared to a blade of grass blade of grass means it is very very little one very uh, less importance should be given and whereas the weightage the weight of this uh, blade of grass a simple piece of grass as is uh, we neglect so many of the people are going to neglect okay so regarding this uh, think of a few things so maybe if you think uh, regarding the comparison between uh, those of uh, the uh, light particles light things uh, which is similar to that of a uh, blade of grass uh, maybe we can uh, uh, remember that is uh, a feather birds feather which will be very light uh, in weight and as a soft flower or we can also compare this uh, for a helpless to a helpless child that is infant baby baby which has not uh, having any strength of its own or similarly here regarding this poem a helpless woman so these are some of the things we are going to recall which we consider lightly and not given importance okay so coming to the poem about the poem so about the poem before uh, going to uh, discuss in detail discuss in detail regarding the stanzas of the poem i would like to uh, narrate the story and uh, narrate the summary of the uh, poem later on we will uh, go on to discussing uh, the stanza okay so uh, the poem the grass is really like me basically talks about uh, the challenges faced by the women in the present day the poet kishwar nahir compares herself the life her life uh, to the life of a blade of grass so here yeah, this poem it is a metaphorical a poem in which the poet uh, compares herself uh, with the grass which tries to unfold from the ground and grow but it gets soaked by water or scorched by the sun and cannot grow in the same manner a woman's freedom is stifled by men and is not allowed to blossom the poet says that despite being soaked or scorched if the grass continues to grow it soon gets mowed down by the lawn mower men in the same manner try to push men down and keep them under their feet but the desire to lead a free life does not die either in the grass or in the woman just like grass being mowed down and cut down and grafted onto the earth as cross to be trampled upon women's freedom so here in this poem the women's freedom is also chopped off and is left to lead a life of a submission thus the poet feels that there is no difference between a woman and a blade of grass that means here yeah, in this poem the poet wants to uh, say regarding the woman empowerment and also is going to say about the uh, dominant society male dominant society where the females are not given importance so that is uh, discussed in this uh, uh, stanza in this poem so regarding this uh, poem and stanza we will uh, discuss and uh, see in the next period so i hope uh, you understand the uh, 
नोट अबाउट द आर्थर रीज़म द नोट अबाउट द पोयेट ईश्वर नहीं एंड द समरी ऑफ़ दिस पोयेम वे इट डिस अबाउट द वुमन एम्पोर्मेंट हाउ द वुमेन आर गोइंग टू ट्रीटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द पोयेट टेकिंग हर्सेल्फ हर लाइफ एस एन एग्जांपल सो रिगार्डिंग दिस पोयेम एंड द लाइंस आई विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट Thank you one and all for uh, listening.